I had an accident I, uh, with my bike. Mm -hmm. I was by bike and something entered in my front wheel. Mm -hmm. So I simply follow down, fell down, mm -hmm. uh, and my face was completely destroyed. So my diagnosis was uh, tetraplegic uh, issues because I had um, lesion of the spinal cord, uh, C3, C4. Mm -hmm. That's uh, very bad, but fortunately it's complete, it's incomplete. So I can do something with my mm -hmm. arms and legs, but not so much. My challenges are, for instance, uh, that I cannot walk, that I uh, do not have so much strength in my arms uh, as I would like to have to push mm -hmm. at least uh, my wheelchair. Um, and uh, something that is maybe not thought so much. After the first treatment, I had some effects and after very short uh, time, mm -hmm. after a fortnight or a month. I think uh, this uh, structure is absolutely fantastic. It's brand new and there is a lot of room around also for people like me to go with wheel wheelchair, uh, not only in the internal garden, but also around in the country. Try to have this kind of therapies as soon as possible. And this is what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Something that maybe can uh, cure or give some amelioration to the very center mm -hmm. of the damage. Mm -hmm. Hello, can you tell us your name, where are you from and why you came to Swiss Medica? Okay, I am Donata, I'm 62, I come from Italy and uh, I found information about Swiss, me Swiss Medica on the web because I was looking for stem cell therapies. Mm -hmm. What health challenges were you facing daily? Mm -hmm. Ooh, here, not so many. Daily, it's uh, uh, to pretend too much, but changes maybe in months. No, no, sorry, no, maybe you didn't understand me. What health challenges? Ah, challenges, yeah. you can, you, I thought changes. Yeah, challenges. You can, you can first... The difficult things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can first say your diagnosis and then continue with what health okay. changes were it, was it daily. Okay. So my diagnosis was uh, tetraplegic uh, issues because I had um, lesion of the spinal cord, uh, C3, C4. Mm -hmm. That's uh, very bad, but fortunately it's complete. It's incomplete, so I can do something with my... Mm -hmm. arms and legs, but not so much. Mm -hmm. So my challenges are, for instance, uh, that I cannot walk, that I uh, do not have so much strength in my arms uh, as I would like to have to push mm -hmm. at least uh, my wheelchair. Um, and uh, something that is maybe not thought so much. I cannot give any caress to anybody. Mm -hmm. I cannot massage anybody and I cannot wash myself, mm -hmm. my uh, face, face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for instance. For instance. Uh -huh. But these things are normally not uh, considered, but they are very important for you. in yeah. the daily life. Okay. Uh, what treatments have you tried before? Well, I tried any kind of physiotherapy from uh, electrical stimulation, also to physiotherapists that are bringing you to walk, etc. And I had some amelioration from the very first period where the shock was big. Um, however, um, I understood that this is not a cure, but a therapy. I was looking for something that can really change something at the very root of where the damage was because otherwise I'm only looking at the very end of what happened and you cannot unfortunately go to the end back. It's mm -hmm. like in life, you always have one direction from mm -hmm. the center to the periphery. Mm -hmm. And this is what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Something that maybe can uh, cure or give some amelioration to the very center mm 
mm-hmm. of the damage. Mm-hmm. And why did you decide to try stem cell treatment? Um, because I thought it was the only possibility. The only possibility. Okay. Um, do you have any worries about stem cell therapy? Um, not worries. I don't think they are doing something bad to my body. I don't think they, at least not in my case, but I really believe it's very difficult that autologous stem cells can cause cancer, increase or something like that. I'm mostly worried about what they cannot do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I understand. Uh, did you talk to your doctor back home about getting the stem cell treatment? Um, I uh, spoke with my doctor. With uh, I have a phys- physiatrist that follows me since uh, six years. The time elapsed from the accident. Uh, and she believes in stem cells, or at least she doesn't have anything against stem cells. But normally, the official uh, group of doctors of any kind of specialization, neurologist, uh, uh, surgeon, neurosurgeons, and physiatrists mm-hmm. and physiotherapists in Italy, have only one belief, stem cells doesn't work. Mm-hmm. There is not enough evidence, etc., etc. Well, it may be, but why do you forbid to people to have such a treatment in Europe and not in all countries in Europe? Because in Spain, it's allowed, but they only give treatment to paraplegic people, so with lower lesions. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In Germany, in some landers, is allowed, in other not. Mm-hmm. So why this is this disparity? No. Yes. Okay, okay. You mentioned uh, six years ago an accident. Yes, I had an accident I, uh, with my bike. Mm-hmm. I was by bike and something entered in my front wheel. Mm-hmm. So I simply follow down, fell down, mm-hmm. uh, and my face was completely destroyed. Mm-hmm. Not a, that I was really a beauty before, but now it's really worse. And uh, unfortunately, I had uh, a spinal cord lesion with no bone broken, with nothing that could be repaired simply by decompressing the area mm-hmm. very fastly. Is the famous golden hour. So when you have an accident, there is an hour where they can save you and preserve you for any kind of paresis. Mm-hmm. But there is no common protocol in, no, in all countries for saving lives. So it depends on where you have the accident. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In Italy, if you have an accident close to Milan or to Varese, where I live, they don't use this golden hour standard. Mm-hmm. If you have an accident close to Trento, so let's say eastwards from Milan, mm-hmm. then you're luckier when, because there they have the protocol for the golden hour mm-hmm. and you don't have anything mm-hmm. afterwards. I understand. Otherwise you have, yes, all possible therapies and the only hope is stem cells because otherwise you have maybe electrical implants and so on and so forth. But I'm not sure that muscles will uh, be reinforced mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because the challenge, the big challenge is that your muscles lose uh, fibers, lose strength, and to recover it, you should uh, think of yourself laying on a bed for six years and having to restart your movements Mm -hmm. after six years of total immobility. So it's very hard. I understand, I understand, okay. And what made you choose Swiss Medica out of all the options? Why do you pick Swiss Medica out of all the options? Well, uh, um, I looked in the internet, as I said, Swiss Medica was the one operating closest to to where I live. Um, There are uh, some uh, translational experiments, I mean, translational medicine experiments in Japan, where they made 
uh, a lot of um, um, studies and also uh, reviews and systematic reviews of papers. And uh, they offer, for the time being, therapies also to people which is not from Japan, so not covered from Japan insurances. But for all the rest, for instance, Spain, or uh, Spain only covers people uh, covered by uh, the health system of Spain mm -hmm. and so on for other countries. Mm -hmm. So it was a question of vicinity. Then I, I read uh, all the preparation, the carefulness in the preparation of the cells. It reassured me a little bit about the safety yeah. of the intervention. And I chose uh, Swiss, Swiss Medica Medi for this. Okay, can you walk us through it, your journey with Swiss Medica from talking to our coordinators to getting the treatment? Uh, again, I didn't get Can you walk us through the journey from the first call to yes. coming here? Okay, yeah. so I contacted the Swiss Medica by email according to the forms that are in the first uh, web page. And then uh, somebody replied to me uh, as an expert uh, and consultant. Um, firstly, by email, then I had to um, compile a form, so to fill in a, a long, long uh, questionnaire. I did it quite systematically because I'm a scientist, so I used to do these kind of things. I collected all documents by group, I mean clinical documents, discharge, discharges, um, other exams that I mean, uh, I, I had investigations and so on. I sent it back and they told me, yes, you can try with stem cells. I think your case can be uh, taken as a possible case mm -hmm. for uh, a therapy with stem cells. Um, after that, we arranged about the dates, which kind of exams I should do before. Uh, also uh, uh, cancer indicators and so on and so forth. And then I came the first time. The first time they uh, extracted from my bone uh, some uh, stem cells, or let's say mellow. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from that they extracted the stem, stem cells. Afterwards, uh, they injected the stem cells uh, in the intrathecal uh, space, intrathecal room. And then also I had infusions and also some uh, uh, inhalation in the nose of stomas extracted mm -hmm. from stem cells. I had a lot of physiotherapy also the first time. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, along the time, they told me that it would take a, a certain amount of months to prepare from my first uh, uh, cells some other kinds of cells. Mm -hmm. So they prepared the mesenchymal stem cells and they got a second treatment. After the first treatment, I had some effects and after a very short uh, time, mm -hmm. after a fortnight or a month. Wow. But those effects had the duration of only 18, 20 hours mm -hmm. and basta. Uh, after the second treatment with the mesenchymal stem cells, the effects were uh, more on the sensitivity aspects, no additional movement but uh, they lasted, so they appeared and they lasted. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, they told me there are the, also the neuronal stem cells. Now I have no stem cells left uh, in Swiss Medica mm -hmm. because they consume the everything, yeah. everything. And let's see, I got the third injection. And this is your third time here? Yes, yeah. it's the, my third time. So this is your third, third time here and your first time in the new facility. How do you like our accommodation and our facility? 
well, uh, I, I wrote a document just to help uh, understanding the needs of people in my condition. Mm -hmm. I think uh, this uh, structure is absolutely fantastic. It's brand new and there is a lot of room around also for people like me to go with wheelchair uh, not only in the internal garden but also around in the country mm -hmm. uh, however uh, it's perfect only for people that can walk uh, people on wheelchair have some may have some issue because for instance in the bottom Mm -hmm. uh, you have no room to put your legs under the sink mm -hmm. and, for example, wash your face, mm -hmm. wash your mm -hmm. feet, whatever. Uh, the, um, the shower is not accessible for a person Which on the wheelchair mm -hmm. because the door blocks you from having the shower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, when you go out of the room, you have to open a door. Understand. Already this is not okay. So you should have some vocal comma yes, yes, yes. Or, or something to press from the inside. So the door can be open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, the, uh, the lift is perfect. Mm -hmm. Then you go down, you try to go out. The first door is not for people like me because again, you have to open or push, uh -huh. and if you have no strength in mm -hmm. your, you can do you can do that. You yes, can yes. do that. Understand. Then you go down, and there are a lot of these kind of obstacles uh -huh. that are good for making the excess of rain flow away, mm -hmm. but not good for, for the people in wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. And then you go, you go, you want to leave this area and go out of the door and you can't because the, the pavement mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. understand just try yeah 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 understand you can understand. because there are steps and the pavement is very narrow mm -hmm. so you cannot really go out go with it. Yeah, yeah, unless yeah. In, in some way you manage to mimic a car and have the big gate opening mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you are just on a wheelchair, you can't. So there are some limitations, uh, and I think they are due to the fact that normally architects, even of clinics or hospitals, specialized on that, they do not have an, a clue, About I'm it. sorry to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. of That's what, what it mean. means to stay on a wheelchair. I simply say, okay, maybe uh, people like me is just the 10% mm -hmm. of the possible patients you see. So dedicate the 10% of the rooms yes, for, that. for people like me with the right uh, things yeah, yeah, yeah. in the room to, to make their life uh, Easy. more inclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank, you. Only... Thank you for the feedback. We will see how we can improve all of that. And the last question, uh, do you have uh, some advice for other people facing similar health issues? Well, yes. Try to have this kind of therapies as soon as possible. Because for me, the fight to, to try to have a permission from my insurance, from the doctors, etc., to do this took uh, three years even more. Yeah. So I decided to do it on my own, even if it's not for free, mm -hmm. um, and to invest uh, some money and time and hopes uh, in this therapy. In this and it means that I had to wait until five years after the accident. Please do it before. before.